So hello my fellow Trekkies and uh, as promised here's a closer look video at the Galileo, the, um, the class F shuttle which was assigned to the USS Enterprise that is the TOS era Enterprise. Okay, and I believe she's only been seen in one episode, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not too sure. But let's look at some of the information that we have about her. So the Constitution class vessels carry F class shuttles, or class F shuttles, if you will, that were capable of interstellar travel. Was okay. So she was one of two, the Galileo and the Copernicus, uh, which was assigned to the Constitution class shuttles. Uh, sorry, Constitution class ships back in the 2260s. Uh, they were housed in the shuttle bay at the rear of the ship and could be launched through the clamshell doors. And they had their own power, did not require tractor beam or grappling hooks to enter the hangar. So, <coughs> only being one of two, that might be, uh, you know, a little bit, if one gets damaged, what's gonna happen, right? They'll have to go to the nearest star base, I guess, and get another one. So there she is on the side. Um, and they had a maximum of seven passengers at a time, but if necessary, only one person, as we saw Spock go in on one of his errands. Um, they had a twin nacelle design, were capable of interstellar flight at faster than light speeds, but had a relatively short range. Um, and it could enter a planet's atmosphere, unlike the ship, so that's why they kept shuttles mainly. Uh, land on the surface if necessary. Uh, so they, but you know, the starships normally had transporters in the order occasion but like you see on the episode the Galileo 7 um, we had seven uh, crew going on for one of the plan uh, they got stranded on a planet um, what was that episode I believe it's season one itself um, they had a lot of uh, sensors that were standard um, and they had shielding of course short range transport There's not much of uh, much in detail that I can get from this. Engineering systems uh, had a separate compartment at the back that can also be used as storage and to access some of the engineering systems, including the battery power. Uh, they had quite a few number of tools over there in case of uh, you know urgent repairs. Most of the propulsion system, including the fuel lines, were installed on the floor. And could be actors. Oh, yeah, that's um, some of the details we do get to see in the in the episode. Uh, now, because of the way that the ship is designed, uh, the model rather is designed, it doesn't really fix into the stand, so it's just kind of placed there. But this particular one, because of the um, that landing thingy over there, it kind of holds on a little bit more firmly. I really like this design. Um, what else? And in an emergency, the shuttle could jettison its fuel. On one occasion, Mr. Spock created a distress signal, as you see in that episode. Um, and because of that, it, the, he ignited the fuel after the ionizing effect of the Murasaki 312 Quasar had damaged the shuttle and made communication difficult. But because of that, the Enterprise were able to track them. Uh, the crew was beamed to safety, but the Galilee was destroyed when it was burned up in the atmosphere of the. Oh, that was for the planet Taurus 2. It was replaced with an identical class F shuttle which was named the Galileo 2. So, unfortunately, this ship um, died <laughs> in the very same episode. See, this is the problem of uh, trying to maneuver it around. It uh, died very quickly. It had a very short life uh, on screen, but she lives on in the memories. Uh, this is the first time we ever see a shuttle, I believe. Um, any other information that I can get? No, not really much. I lo really lo like the name Galileo. Um, my only concern for ships like this, where's the loop? <laughs> Shuttles, where do you get the loop? Um, and it's a very basic design, like you can see in the series. Uh, it wasn't really meant to be uh, shown too much, which is why they have it. And the recent uh, episode of Star Trek continues, the fan show, the fan series uh, based on the TOS era, uh, they have an episode in which we see the air shuttle as well. So that's the Galileo guys, uh, the class F shuttle from uh, TOS uh, assigned to the Paul Constitution class and this one in particular to the USS Enterprise.
it's mama if you wish so that's it thank you I really like the design uh, kind of small but it still sits cutely on my uh, shelf so do wish they were bigger but at the same time uh, you can't complain because they did turn out really well especially this one thank you guys and take care bye